Next question is from Krista Marie C. Can you overconsume protein? Yeah, of course Absolutely. you can. Okay, so from a, a fat gain perspective, too many calories, regardless of where they come from, proteins, fats, or carbs, will get stored as body fat. Now, protein is so satiating. In other words, it fills you up. It's less likely to overeat protein than it is to eat overeat carbohydrates and fats, and especially the combination of carbohydrates and fats, which typically, if you throw salt on top of that, that's like the magic uh, you know, trio. So, But that being said, yeah, you can eat too much protein. And forget the fat gain. For some people, eating too much protein leads to constipation and digestive issues as well, in which case... And that's more individualized, right? That that can determine whether or not you know you're eating too much for yourself. Now, is that tied into like a buildup of uric acid and gout? Or no, like rich foods and, and like alcohol and stuff too. Is you know those are big contributors. Yeah, that's an like, individual thing too. But yeah. yes, if you have issues with gout or not your body not getting rid of uric acid, then yeah, your protein limit is going to be lower than someone who doesn't have those issues. Yeah, I never really, I never had any problems with anybody who was eating whole foods and wasn't in the like the bodybuilding space in this case yeah yes. unless you had a special condition like that so i've dealt with gout and i've had clients that have issues with just digestion period and so then everything is kind of an exception to the rule but for the majority it, most people under consume protein and if they were eating whole foods it wasn't a problem the times where i saw it was when you with competitors because competitors look at protein and they as throw like, shakes on top of everybody. oh yeah so yeah. you know they're having three shakes and two bars on top of you know two pounds of beef in the day uh every day and they're trying to get you know 300 400 grams of protein thinking it's like this magical macronutrient and then you see their their digestion get fucked up from that and you see them issues with and their stools all fucked yeah. up so that's the only time i really dealt with it most people um, don't get enough protein intake. So the messaging tends to be like more, more, more. But yeah, of course there's a threshold yeah. and there's a, a too much for I somebody. will say this though. Mm -hmm. It's it's harder to overconsume protein. Way hard. I mean, think of it this way. I could easily sit down and eat 100 grams of carbs and I wouldn't even blink, right? 100 grams of fat, it's, I could do that too. Yeah, easy. 100 grams of protein, Put 100 grams of lean whole food protein Oof. in front. Like, how much chicken breast would that be, Adam? That's yeah, like, yeah, that's like uh, six, twelve. You're over a pound. You're pounding uh, almost a pound and a half of chicken. Just pure yeah. chicken breast. Yeah. Like, try eating that at that's a sitting. That's a chore. Good yeah. luck. Yeah. Like, that's one of the reasons why people lose weight on like carnivore diets. Is it just crushes your appetite? Yeah, you it's don't really hard to just consume that many calories from only that. Yeah, I, I wouldn't worry about over. For the most part, I don't worry about over consuming protein. Now, I know there's people that will say. Too much protein can elevate mTOR, and that can lead to cancer, and this and that. Th context matters a lot. In a pro-cancer environment, carbohydrates, sugars, and proteins can feed cancer just because cancer is cells. In a healthy context, you're fine. mTOR is not bad unless you have cancer that's active, in which case, yes, you do want to depress mTOR. But if you don't have cancer... You can elevate mTOR, you'll just build more muscle and have better performance. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. And definitely not too much about over-consuming protein. It's, that's, I mean, in my, I, for as long as I've worked with people, I don't know, I'm trying to think, have I ever had anybody, yeah. except for people who threw shakes on top only, of everything? Yeah, only the bodybuilding yeah, community. The only the people that were like either competing themselves or into that that space where they're following the people that are giving advice there that are telling like, you know, you need to get two times your body weight yeah. and protein, you know. So if you're getting that messaging and you're trying to do that or you're in that space, that was the only time where I'd look at someone's diet and be like, what the fuck are you doing? You're already getting 150 grams through Whole Foods. Why are you drinking three shakes and two bars a day? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. well, because I heard that the if I get two times that uh, I'll max potential ability of muscle. It's like no, you're fine, bro. You can you can cut out all that.